Good morning, everybody. It's Monday again. It's March. It's March 28th, 2022. We're ready to get back to trucking. I spent the weekend polishing up the truck. I hope that it doesn't get dirty right away, but uh, we'll see what happens. Let's get going. I spent the weekend cleaning these rims and I'm still not done. They're never going to shine like brand new. But I should really show you the before and after pics. I scrubbed these things. So at least they're clean, right? That took hours. And like you can tell, not quite done yet, but it's a lot better than it was. So slowly, bit by bit this summer, I want to get this thing shining. It's like I always say, right? If it can shine, it should shine. And it will shine. I might even go and replace these half fenders myself because they're not matching. And it's driving me absolutely crazy. That's not going to be on the top of the list, but uh, you know, if we get down to that part of the list and uh, these things still aren't matching, oh, they're going to match one way or another. I'll figure it out. Yeah. And we're hooked up to one of our oldest trailers that we have with the rusty rims. Just just to make my truck look a little bit better, you know? Just, just make it look a little bit better. Let's go around to the side that has the sun shining on it. That's probably where I should have started all this, right? The rims here are shining. A little more than they were anyways, right? Or a lot more than they were. Thanks to Bullsnot cleaning products, they actually worked really well. You gotta admit, it looks better than it did, right? That's all I was going for. So my next project is uh, polishing up these fuel tanks. See how shiny I can get those fuel tanks again. And some of you might ask, you know, why do I spend my time shining up a truck that's not even mine? Well, it's because I like it. I like doing it. Polishing trucks and cleaning trucks, to me, is a good day. I mean, I, I don't know if I'd want to do it for a living, but if it's the truck I'm driving, I find it very satisfying and a good way to spend my weekend. That way I can roll around in a clean, shiny truck. I mean, it's a win-win, really. They get their truck shined up, I get a shiny truck to drive, and I'm happy. <laughs> so, why not? Ah, I get that response to everybody. Oh, why would you do that? It's not your truck. Why not? Oh, you want to drive a dirty truck every day? Uh, I'm just shining up. I got time. It's stress relief. It's anxiety relief for me. You know? It gives me a sense of accomplishment. And Britt was working all weekend. So instead of just sitting at home playing video games, I mean, I could have gotten a ways on my farm or simulator game. Uh, farm Simulator 2022 is the game I'm into right now. I guess I could have gotten pretty far in that, but why not do something a little more productive? I don't know, it made me feel good about it. I don't care. Not everybody would do it, I understand, but makes me happy all right that's all that matters i'm happy I had a good weekend that was good it was a lot of fun those fuel tanks though are going to be a little bit of a uh challenge that's okay because the rims i did it all by hand eh? i don't have those special tools or anything i got all the products to get it done but uh the tanks uh might take a little while maybe i'll do one at a time you know and just slowly see what works see what works the best and then uh once we get them clean, it's a lot easier just to keep it clean then. And when you get some dirt and dust on it, you just wipe it off right away, and it, it doesn't get to the point where they're at now. The old girl just needs a little bit of love. She just needs some attention. She just needs to be cared for. I got nothing better to do. Why not go and shine up a truck? Well, I guess I could probably find other things to do. The house needs some work, and the snow's melting, and I gotta take the Christmas lights down. And I always got videos and stuff on YouTube to get done. There's, a, there's always something to do. Welcome to being an adult, right? So kids, when you grow up, you have something to look forward to. Always work to do. There is never a day where you just have nothing to do. Boredom does not exist when you're an adult. It doesn't exist. I don't know what it is. I forget what it feels like to be bored. 
because there's always, always, always something to do. One, two, three, go. Let's go trucking. Let the week begin. So this morning we had to move some freight from one trailer to another trailer. The trailer it was on was a little damaged. So we put it into this one. And now I'm taking that freight along with me. Gonna go pick up nine feet of freight of Narberg. And then all of the freight together is headed down somewhere. Don't know, don't care. It's going somewhere. I'll figure it out when I get there. My job is to go get the Arberg stuff. It's noon now and I have about one more hour to go to my to my shipper. I'm really hoping that they're ready for me and that they can get this nine foot section on real quick and I can get out of there by three o'clock. I have an appointment today at five at my house. <laughs> I gotta get back to the house by then. Uh, we have a company that's coming to give us an estimate on our crawl space. We want to get that vapor barrier, right? Or at least uh, possibly put a dehumidifier built for a crawl space down there. Something that'll bring the humidity down under there as we're trying to uh, make a few upgrades to the house. And he's going to be at our house at 5 o'clock today. And I didn't really want Brit to... I know Brit's at home. She can let him in. I just wanted to be there as well. Uh, in case she was uncomfortable with this uh, strange guy coming into the house. I don't think she would have a problem with it, but uh, husband's instinct, you know, I want to be there when they're there just to, uh, plus I want to ask him questions in person of, of, of what he's planning on doing, what he thinks our options are, what it's going to cost. Uh, we have a pretty small crawl space, like a very narrow crawl space, so uh, we're, plus we want to insulate the walls too of the crawl space, get it completely sealed off. And that's happening today. So in order for that to happen, I have to leave Arburg by two o'clock and I'm gonna arrive there at about one o'clock. So I've got one hour to convince them to get that freight on the trailer, <laughs> get tied down and go. But you know, convincing can only go so, so far. It depends how busy they are there, right? It's not that much freight. So I'm assuming they should be able to just throw it on and get me out of there. But either way, we'll make it work. I might just have to make a phone call, say I'll be a little late, but. At least the weather's gonna be good. And there's no snow. The forecast uh, said that there was going to be snow all week this weekend. Ha! Look at this. Knock on wood. Just in case. This weekend I spent uh, cleaning and polishing the wheels on this truck, right? I was gonna spend some time in the interior here. I wanna get this interior detailed and clean. I guess I'll have to do that next week and I ran out of time. I really wanna come up with a better system of organization for this truck. I got a lot of stuff over here. I got my lunch, my backpack, all of my cleaning materials, cleaning rags, microfiber towels, a bunch of Bullstone products, it's all in a separate bag. It's actually the bag I got from Transportation Nation Network. And all of that stuff sort of takes up this whole area over here. And I uh, I want to have it a little bit more organized. I don't like chaos like this. That'll be my project for next weekend, maybe. Or maybe one of the evenings this week. Slowly get everything a specific spot.
it was really easy we got really lucky i'll show you it's just two skids two straps super easy i already got this all buttoned up back here but take a look at that that's all it was so we will make it in time for our appointment with the crawl space guy that was awesome i was expecting it to take a lot longer than this bada bing bada boom bing bang boom we're out of here one second i have to undo my belt while i'm driving excuse me it's a big fuel tank themselves it was just built in a way that somebody's gonna get hurt nice car over there I bet you I know where that's going I bet you that's going into one of our trailers I bet it'll be waiting there when we get there oh look at this we didn't even have to wait today nice
bet you that nice classic car that went past there is gonna go, uh, is on its way to our yard. We haul a lot of vehicles. You can always go onto our website and uh, there's an email address there that you can get to if you wanna move your vehicle. Like if, you, uh, if you're headed down south for the winter or if you're going down there for vacation, you want your vehicle down there but you don't wanna drive it down there to Florida, give us a call or give us an email. We can get your vehicle down there for you. That tow truck with that classic car is two vehicles up. It's right in front of this black SUV. Ha, and there goes the signal. Ha, called it. He's headed to our yard. Wonder where we're gonna be bringing that. No one knows. Well, someone knows, but it's a need to know basis. I wouldn't share where these vehicles are making their way to. All I can say is it's on to a better place. I mean, this is Manitoba. It doesn't take much to get better than this. <laughs> I mean, unless you're going to Saskatchewan, you're probably going to a better place. <laughs> I'm joking, my Manitoba friends. I am joking. Is he gonna turn into our yard? He's right there, but he's behind that bobtail. Oh, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. No, he's going straight. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's going to these guys. They uh, service classic vehicles. We ship them and they build them. There's a guy, one of our neighbors back there builds those things. I guess it's one of his vehicles. Ah, oh, man, I was so sure that it was going to our yard. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> That's usually how they arrive here, and then we, uh, we ship them down south. It's still going to a better place. It's going to a shop to get a facelift, I bet. Chevy, what were you doing back there? What were you doing back there? You weren't, you weren't pooping back there, were you? I hope not. It's hard to get back there to get it. I can't just leave it there. That doesn't look like it's back there. But I'm pretty tired today. Britt made some good turkey burgers. Delicious. Man, the turkey. What's that drug in it again? Is that a drug? Is this something, something in turkey, right? Just makes you tired. Look at me. I'm going to fall asleep standing up right out here in the backyard. At least it's finally warming up. This whole week is supposed to be very warm, so all of this snow will probably be gone, I'm thinking in another two weeks. There might be some remnants left in the shady spots, like this over here and stuff, maybe for three weeks. But for the most part, we'll probably just have lawn out here. Or pardon me, not lawn, mud. Because uh, this yard needs to be re-landscaped and leveled off a little better. Water likes to pool up right around here. I told you this the other day, right? Last week. And it pools up over here. But it goes away quickly. Once the ground thaws, it all, it goes away real quick. They have standing water in their backyard over there too, see? That's, that's just how it is. The water has nowhere to go. I mean, it would go into the ground, but the ground is literally frozen solid. It can't go down. So it just sits on top until it gets a bit warmer yet. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm gonna go inside and go to bed early. We'll see you tomorrow.